Good morning, South Africa. Welcome to today's show of the Student Doctors. On the panel today, you have myself, Dr. Asapile, and to my right, you have Dr. Tutula and Dr. Simulele. On today's episode, we'll be discussing shortness of occasions and their reductions. We'll be covering the anatomy, types of dislocations and their presentations, quick examinations, x-rays, treatment options, as well as complications. The anatomy of the shoulder. The shoulder consists of three bones, the clavicle, scapula, and humerus. These bones come together to form four joints, the sternoclavicular joint, a chromioclavicular joint, glenohumeral joint, and scapulothoracic joint. The scapulothoracic joint is not a true anatomical joint. The muscles involved in the movement of the shoulder are the muscles of the rotator cuff, being supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis, and teres minor. Other muscles involved are the deltoid, biceps, triceps, and pectoralis major. There are three directions in which the shoulder can dislocate, anteriorly, posteriorly, and inferiorly. Firstly, we'll discuss anterior dislocations, which is the most common, contributing to 90% of shoulder dislocations. There is forced abduction and or external rotation of the arm, resulting in subluxation or complete dislocation anteriorly. These patients will clinically present with pain in the shoulder and the inability to move the shoulder in any direction and will have their affected arm supported. When examined, there will be a hollow contour of the shoulder and fullness below the coracoid process. It is important to examine the auxiliary nerves, motor function and sensory function as well as the muscular cutaneous nerve. The shoulder is x-rayed in three views, namely being the true anterior posterior view, the auxiliary lateral view, and the modified auxiliary, which must be requested. The treatment is as follows. Urgent reduction, muscle relaxation, traction, post-reduction examination and x-ray, shoulder sling for three to four weeks, and informing the patient of the recurrence of these dislocations. The treatment techniques of relocation will be discussed later. There are complications post-reduction, and the early complications include neurovascular injury, auxiliary nerve injury, associated fractures of the neck of the humerus or the lesser or greater trochanter. Late complications include a vascular necrosis of the head of the humerus, especially if there was delayed reduction, heterotropic suffocation, and recurrent dislocation. Posterior shoulder dislocation. This is a rare dislocation that is often missed and also misdiagnosed with rotator cuff syndrome and frozen shoulder. There is a forced internal rotation or a blow to the front of the shoulder. It can also occur following an epileptic seizure. These patients present with limited passive range of motion, especially external rotation and abduction following shoulder injury. On examination, no abnormalities are obviously apparent except for posterior fullness of the shoulder, which can be felt on a thin patient. Three x-ray views are required for clear visualization of posterior shoulder dislocation. An AP view shows subtle differences. Therefore, a lateral scapula and an auxiliary view are necessary for confirmation of diagnosis. Posterior shoulder dislocations are managed surgically. Their management will not be demonstrated in this video. Inferior shoulder dislocations, also known as axatia erecta. This is a very rare dislocation that results from hyperabduction of the shoulder. Often with this kind of dislocation, neurovascular injury is common. Close reduction is required. Management of shoulder dislocations. Like everything in trauma, the ATLS guide must be followed. The patient's airway and C-spine must be controlled, as well as breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure. Check the neurovascular status before reduction of the dislocated shoulder by checking the auxiliary motor function as well as for pulses in that arm. X-ray the dislocated shoulder to ensure that there is a dislocation and to exclude other fractures. The reduction of the shoulder dislocation. This must be in an environment where resuscitation equipment is available, such as ECG monitors, a SATS monitor, and where oxygen is also available. The patient must have an IV line, and sedation must be conscious, and the patient must be given analgesia as well. 
The reduction techniques or maneuvers will be discussed later in this video. After the reduction, check the neurovascular status of the arm again. X-ray the shoulder after the reduction as well to ensure that no fractures were caused by the reduction maneuvers. Now that we've discussed the anatomy, different types of shoulder dislocations and investigations will demonstrate the maneuvers involved in relocating dislocated shoulders. Methods of reduction of an anterior shoulder dislocation. There are three methods that will be described in the following videos. The first technique is the Hippocratic method. A formal anesthesia is needed for this technique. Traction of the arm in 45 degree abduction with the surgeon's foot or a sheet under the axilla used as a fulcrum. This is used to lever the head of the humerus in the glenoid. An assistant holds the sheet tightly but does not pull the sheet. The arm is held and gent gentle traction is applied. The mulch method. The elbow is kept flexed at 90 degrees angle in order to relax the biceps muscle. The doctor performing the procedure places their left hand over the shoulder with their thumb in the axilla. Gentle traction is applied with the hand while pulling the elbow at 45 degrees abduction. While slowly abducting the elbow, the humerus is externally rotated. The head of the humerus should then relocate into the glenoid. Cocker's maneuver. Take the affected arm and adduct it fully. Externally rotate the shoulder until resistance is felt. Lift the humerus in the sagittal plane. Lastly, internally rotate the arm. We have come to the end of our show. Thank you for tuning in and please do join us next week when we discuss intraarticular injections. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Doctor, give me the news. I got